And so that's why my sense of logic and agency and cohes building cohesive stories are out of the window, literally because a part of the brain that has to do with serial and logical and cohesive thinking, sh thinking shuts down during REM. Mm. Literally, that is compare having been able to co comparing these two worlds, right, of, of academia and traditional grant. So you have to sit down and write grants for six months, yep. and then it get rejects rejected ten times, and then get some money. Versus you go do something that's in more in the you talked about before in the influencer realm you do something small and you just get tons of money and you feel like my god you know why even waste my time right all these things? you create so your own destiny a little bit you create bit. Your, own, your own destiny life yeah. is you know definitely things are changing things are evolving and 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 you have to you know be dynamic and and flexible for yeah. sure but also when you have a good skill of communicating like yeah. you take advantage of it you Thank know you what i mean enough. like that's Appreciate it. that's a big thing because you'll see i i've seen it both ways i've seen scientists who are brilliant they're just not like great talkers or yeah. bringing it down to the level of the average man being able yeah. to understand and you know they're going to rely more on the behind the scenes stuff and i get that but then when you have guys who can kind of make it digestible and be passionate about it and make it fun yeah you know, it also does a lot for society too. It does, it does you know? a lot. Yeah, no, I agree. And look, beside that, like I, I feel like something that I really love is 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 science and I love explaining science as well. So it's, it's a passion of mine. Talking about science and talking about scientific ideas is, is really something that I love. So, mm. and really during my entire career, when, you, when I speak to young students and I see their face light up when you tell them about their brain yeah. or, you know, it's just, very rewarding so of course it is of course now you again you, this whole journey starts with your own sleep paralysis and yeah. everything like that yeah. now i as far as i know i've never experienced that before but to go back just to review because you explained it at the very beginning yep. the first time that you had it as yep. a teenager yeah you felt like you were awake, but mm -hmm. your whole body couldn't move. That's You're right. calling out to your parents, trying to get help. Right. And then you see like a monster in the corner and it comes over to you and yeah, it's like yeah. pressing down on you. So Correct. the connotation is that you are still technically asleep, but mm -hmm. you are, you feel like you're woken up in the very room that you're in. Is that fair to say? That is fair to say. Okay. And that's exactly what's happening in the brain. Exactly what's happening. So the brain. brain has created this illusion that you're awake. You're the, not. Exactly. So in the brain, what you have is you have two systems. The sensory systems, which are out here, the outer layer of the brain, it's called the perceptual cortex, it's out here. That part of the brain- Just keep this pointed to you, sorry. Yeah, that, this part of the brain is involved in sensory perception of the world, okay? That, and, and so that part literally turns on even though you are still in REM sleeping. So sleep paralysis is, is a REM phenomenon. It's a rapid mm. eye movement sleep phenomenon. And as we mentioned, during REM sleep, during REM, you have vivid and lifelike dreams, right? Yes. You said that. And so sleep paralysis emerges out of REM. It comes out of REM. So it's a REM phenomenon. And literally what it is, is that your REM brain remains stuck in REM, right? So it's in REM. It's stuck in the REM. So it has all the physiological features of REM. It has the paralysis, it has the, you can't move, your eyes are moving from side to side, which is a, also a REM uh, thing. It's a REM system. And you might ask, by the way, Julian might ask, well, well, if you're paralyzed, you can't move or speak, how come your eyes are moving? What's that about? And I'll just tell you, it's a different circuit in the brain, simple answer. There's a hmm. different circuit for your eyes. That's why you can move your eyes. Yeah, they're wired directly into it. Yeah, you can put it that way. <laughs> you can put it that way. He's like, no. <laughs> now... Sometimes what can happen is that when you are in REM, your perceptual systems can go, oh, I'm going to wake up right now, even though you are in REM. So it's almost like a you switch a button, like a turn on and off switch gets stuck between on and off. Like it turns on perceptually so you can see your surroundings. You become aware of yourself. Your eyelids can move, but you're still stuck in the paralysis of REM. The REM, is the, the REM stage of sleep and the paralysis part remains. So... There's a decoupling of these two systems, the paralysis system and the perceptual system. So that's what REM sleep is all about. But also you have a lot of the features of dream sleep and REM sleep as well. So let me go into that. I think that will be interesting. Yeah, so, this is very interesting. So now when you are in REM, you're dreaming. Take the dream world. When you are in dreams, are dreams bizarre, strange, illogical? Yes. Why is that the case? 
I'll tell you. It was I mean, I've always described them as just, but I'm using the word, so it's a cop out. I've always described it as like fever dreams, right? Fever Where dreams, yeah. you can take a movie character and suddenly, like, he's also he's still that character, but he's your buddy now that you grew up with, and yeah. you're driving in a taxi somewhere. It has nothing to do with the plot, yeah. you know. Well, well put, well put, it's exactly. And the reason is simple: in the brain, right here, you know, it's called a DLPFC two on the prefrontal uh, region. These parts of the brain, this part shuts down during REM. The logical, serial thinking part of the brain shuts down. And so that's why my sense of logic and agency and cohes building cohesive stories out of the window, literally because a part of the brain that has to do with serial and logical and cohesive thinking, sh thinking shuts down during REM. Mm. Literally, that is the simple explanation for why dreams are strange and bizarre. That's the first explanation. So it, sh it totally shuts down, so you can't distinguish between logical and illogical hypothetical. the world becomes strange and bizarre because you your your logic centers shut down is it similar i'm sorry i, I just want to ask this because i thought of it and yeah. I'm, I'm, i Go don't ahead. mean to break your flow but is it similar to like the phenomenon of some sort of psychedelic experience like alice in wonderland we'll come to that okay but good thanks for the reminder we'll get to that because okay. i'd like to cover that if not exactly this part is not it's different it's different but that the lsd experience is also part of the dream experience mm. i'll get to that okay. in a second so you have the dlpfc shutting down the world is illogical first point, component now sometimes julian finds himself on a spaceship and he flies in the sp spaceship and everything is just quickly he's whisked up in the air and He's flying. Yeah. Why? Well, that's because behind your ears, you have a vestibular system. The vestibular system is involved in sense of balance, sense of me being here, but then I'm over here. And so this is allows you to um, create balance in the brain. The neurons in the vestibular system are overactive in REM. Simple explanation. Illogical, but also your balance centers are hyperactive. So you become mm. like this, out of balance. Things become pretty fleeting, right? That's that's one. Second, the emotional core of the brain, the limbic structure behind your ear, there's a limbic center called the emotional center. It's about 30% more active in REM sleep, in your dream. And because of that, dreams are highly instinctual, emotional. You are desirous of, of things, of, of if, if emotional stuff, maybe women or whatever. That's because 30% more activity in the emotional, instinctual part of the brain. Okay? Three parts. Four. The anterior cingulate and empathy part of the brain that's involved in creating other people, hyperactive. That's why the brain is populated, the, the, the dream is populated by a lot of people. Your, your dreams are literally very are social. Your dreams, dreams are full of people. Real and fake. Well, they're all fake in the sense that, well, okay, I see what you're saying. Imagine versus people you met in real life. Yeah, I'm thinking of my dream last night. Gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. I understand. Well, your brain creates these mix, right? So it could be people that you think, you know, could be real people or people that you imagine. Yeah, it could be both. But it's but the key point is that it's populated by a lot of people. All right? Tons of people. So you have that. that so the so the theory of mind part of the brain is as hyperactive. Mm. That's another part. Let's continue. Dreams build narratives. So the hippocampus part of the brain, the memory part of the brain, builds stories and takes from your memory. So it's so it's literally people you knew from real life and weaves them into the narratives as well. So the hippocampus is there. Got it. The motor regions of the brain are active, and for that reason, you are moving around in your dream. You can move. That's the motor regions. So it's creating the illusion that you're moving. Correct. So basically, in in a, in a nutshell, when I balance, I'm moving when I'm. I'm awake, I move my a arm from A to B in space, I'm using my motor cortex on the left side. Neurons fire, I move from A to B. This is motor cortex. I close my eyes and imagine myself moving from A to B, and my motor cortex will actually fire as well, even though I'm not moving. They'll partially fire, just by imagining it. When I'm dreaming, because I'm imagining myself moving, the motor cortex fires away, mm. okay? So you have all these different centers of the brain being active, and that's why the, the dream landscape has this flavor to it. Bizarreness, strangeness, sense of agency, agency is gone. I don't know that I'm dreaming when I'm dreaming. Why is that the case? Well, again, the DLPFC is involved in self-agency, not only logic, but also self-agency. So I am, I am unaware of myself dreaming. Okay. Mm. 
The TPJ regions we mentioned before that's involved in self-body image shuts down. This region shuts down, and for that reason, you feel like you're here, but then suddenly you occupy somebody else's body, or you might feel yourself in a bird's body, or you see yourself from the outside like a Netflix movie. Why is that the case? Well, your self, sense of self and body image becomes fluid. That's mm. the TPJ shutting down. You literally have your brain chemistry and your brain milieu dictating what you see in your dream. Now, if I, Belen, Julian is dreaming and his brain is firing in this bizarre pattern and he's seeing a certain dream because of that. And then I come in and I fire some light over here and I put some fire and the smoke will overwhelms you, right? Mm -hmm. In your dream now, you will incorporate that smoke into your dream as well. So you'll see yourself in a high house where it's like there's fire and you're trying to escape. So we can ex ex externally affect the dream as well. So not only your internal brain environment, also the external environment can affect the dream content. So these are very crucial yes. points. Thank you guys for checking out this clip. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. It is a huge, huge help. And if you'd like to check out this clip's full podcast episode, that link is in the description below or right here. And finally, you can follow me on Instagram and X by using the links in my description below.